Hi, Andrew Andrew here on a chilly night. We're about to see Porgy and Bess, excuse me, the Gershwins Porgy and Bess. At the Richard Rogers Theater. Quite the controversy because they've taken the original opera and they've chopped it up, added script, and they've turned it into a musical. Purists that say it does not work, but at the same time, there's people like ourselves who never saw the original to see with a fresh set of eyes. So there you have it. We're naive and misinformed. No, I think they're going exactly for us type people. <laughs> for us type people? But yes. You, yeah, I do love opera. You're an opera holic. I am music. not an opera holic. I expect that I may enjoy this. At the Gershwin's Porgy and Bess. The Is it they saying the Gershwin's because they they're the ones that redid it? No. Yeah. I mean, it's the original guy that did it. He really doesn't know anything about this show. I really don't. So, the story thus far, for those who don't know what it is, like this guy right here, a, a physically fit and very attractive but emotionally damaged young hussy, through a strange twist of events, a murder, ends up in the arms of a physically disabled but pure of heart gentleman who changes her for the better. There is an element, and I can't place my finger on it, of something is missing. I, there's, yes. There's, the things move really, really fast. I agree, absolutely. It almost feels like they're leaping from plot point to plot point. Even, even though we even have though I don't know, Even we though I don't know the original, I'm like, well, you're, you're missing stuff. It's a weird hybrid, a schizophrenic of a show, part opera, part musical, uh -huh. part law and order. Well, I can feel that there's, they're, they're and that's moving not, very fast. It's not helped by the abstract set. First off, I love minimal set, Robert Wilson, but this set is half-baked. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the set. There is absolutely nothing lacking in the talent of the cast. Especially Natasha Yvette William kills it. She's really tremendous as a tough gal. Well, let's percent. go back inside and see what happens. At well, the show's out, and well, it's not as bad as I thought it could have been. Really? Yeah. I think it was worse than I thought it was going to be. It felt like an overture. It, you know what I thought it was? A preview for the real show. I thought the whole thing felt like one big teaser to get to go to see the real full show. When you condense opera, what you're left with are just the most melodramatic moments. Who let that dream sequence in? There's My this man. dream sequence that comes out of nowhere and yeah. should go back to where it came from. I know, if you're gonna be trimming the fat, there is some fat that could be trimmed. So everyone knows the big three stars, Audrey McDonald, Norm Lewis, David Allen Greer, they're all fantastic. But my favorite member of the cast comes from us via the Scottsboro Boys, Joshua Henry, who we've seen in many, many shows. He's always a treat to see. And in this one, he really does shine. Also, David Allen Greer, when he's funny, he's, he's funny. He's really funny. But when he's evil, he's not evil enough. Like, even when he's pushing drugs, I'm like, oh, David, I'll take some cocaine, sure. For so much plot in so little time, there's quite little set. Here's the entire set. A big white sheet, a pump, two chairs, and a light. So I think for this ADD society that wants everything instant, this could be the perfect solution for a four-hour opera. Personally, I think that it's lacking because they took so much stuff out. I'm still have to say a yellow light. Yeah, yellow light for me too because it doesn't make the highlights any less high. Two yellow lights for the Gershwins, Porgy and Bess, now showing at the Richard Rogers Theater. Wait, let me do this one more time.